may yet be saved by you. It is what you were born to do, why we nursed you and fed you, as your own mother should have. And now that you are fully grown, our Muthos, it is time at last for you to serve your purpose. To right your wrongs. If our sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. You own nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. survive. This world may be flawed. It may be broken. But it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. You may have created us, Ultima. It's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's, it's us. us. Bow down, offenders. Hearts this day. Sick 
foul attaint may not be sublimed through gain standing. Only with heads hung low is penance paid. O oh, wretched mortals incapable even of contrition. In fitting season shall we reap our harvest. this chance, and still you would raise your hand against the Lord. What now? The darkness bends. He means to end us. It wouldn't be the first time. But let's make it his last. Your fate is inexorable. Surrender the vessel unto the darkness. Surrender it unto us.
countless generations have we awaited this moment. Your struggles have made you strong, yet your soul remains heavy with sin. Absolution is nigh. Repent, and all shall be forgiven. Tell me, Clive, how many lives have you saved since taking my name? Fewer than we have ruined. Wherever we go, we leave a sea of tears in our wake. These... these are the wages of your will, son. What good are our choices when all they ever bring all they will ever bring is death. There's no atoning, Clive. No, no matter how hard you try. So why not leave it all behind? Leave it all behind. Somebody save me! Won't anybody love me? I yearn, yet still she is not mine. Have I not given enough? From will is born desire, and it is this which consumes you, rendering you incomplete. Do you not see how the world bends and warps under the weight of your hungering hearts? What if it could all just go away? Just... go away? None of this is real. Wake up. It's time to go home, Clive. Clive. That's right. You're my brother. 
brother. Remember who you are. Clive. Once more, lest you forget. <laughs> My name is Clive. Clive Rossfield. Look, Ultima. Even here, the light of the vessel's will cannot be quenched, and the Phoenix, his trespass should not have been possible. Not possible unless. Unless he has been with Muthos all along. The mark of the phoenix emblazoned upon his heart, made manifest by the power of will alone. The power of creation. Can it be? Are there wills? Truly so potent. Are you still talking? Sorry to wake you, but I think it may be time to leave. This place, eh? And once again, does my creation stray from the path laid before it? Steeped in conceit, you fancy yourself a god. You embrace Logos. But we will put an end to this hubris. What are you talking about? In the halls of origin, does our true power quicken. And there shall you be made complete. Soon, Muthos, soon you will discover how 
little you know of suffering. So the crystals are no more. Yet in their silence, a new song rings. Its chorus building. A crescendo as it enters its final movement. Stirring those long a slumber to waking. And back to their origin. Bloody crystals cracked, so where the hell are they? Oh, fuck me. Is that... ether? What in good Grieger's name is going on? This is wrong. Are we back? Clive! Joshua! Jill! Is everyone all right? We're fine. What happened? Too much to explain here. Mate! We're leaving! Now! Everyone, fall back to the ship! I will be with you and none. Thank you. Tell everyone what happened to Drake's spine, and I'm going to need Otto's help. There's something about it.
Still alive, I see. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck, then. Is this everyone? As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. He called it Origin. Though the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Valisthian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canva is in flames, and the Empire... Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new mother crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way, from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the Blight since the Crystal's appearance, would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pulls, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arcae above, Ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. <laughs> it's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the Halls of Origin. Needless to say, we cannot allow that to continue. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? He's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? Right. That's right. Well, go on, then. Bugger off. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, eh? Thank you. Joshua seemed upset.
Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? A withered, godless place where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself. Well, there may be, but a chain can always be broken. As long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy. It may take generations, centuries of suffering. And that is if everyone plays their part. But it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the Founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the Phoenix. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember? All right. I yield. But only what you must, yes? I am still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. Ifrit. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. Has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Kaif? Time to talk to Jill. I only hope she understands. Take as much time as you need, brother. Something tells me Ultima will wait. Say your farewells and let us be gone.
Clive, I wanted to give you something for the kindness you showed my mentor. What's this? A chest of all the medicines you're ever likely to need. Seeing as you're so reluctant to come to the infirmary, I thought you might as well take a part of the infirmary with you. I'm sure it will be very helpful indeed, Antaya. Try not to work too hard. And work Rodrigue all the harder, you mean? He's a quick study, but he's got a long way to go yet. I'll take that particular piece of advice when you heed it yourself, thank you very much. Besides, who else is going to see that your brother takes his medicine? Who oh, indeed. Tyre's tea stopped the fizz. I only hope this day stopped. Thank you, my lord, for taking me in. Everyone here has been so kind. It reminds me of home. Helping a wine out with the Alembic, are you? Nice one, Clive. Do you think Sid will tell us about his adventures in Ash? Miss Shirley says your books made quite an impression on the children. Well, then maybe inspire them all to become writers themselves. stuff. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Best work, but it'll do. Bring me the materials, and I'll think about it. You can thank me later. Anything else?
come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why well, I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? You always are. I did promise we'd watch the moon together. I'll be waiting. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. <sighs> what is it this time, Torgal? Pining for something, boy. What is it? What do you see out there? I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. From Sade, that's why. On the day I brought him home. That long ago? And you're only thinking to ask this now? Sid saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. What was wrong, boy? I'll take like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Doubly hard in being a frost wolf, torn away from his icons and all. Sid would always tell him, you want my iron gone? You find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what he was looking for was you. I'm sorry, Torgal. Sorry for making you wait so long. <coughs> Let's get that thing off you. <coughs> Doesn't sound like he wants it off. Indeed. You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? You want me to go with you somewhere? Quick, aren't you? Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. Aye, good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and rubbed his belly these past ten summers. Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. Only because he doesn't talk back like the rest of you. Go on, now. Where to, then, Torgal? What 
do you think happened to Miss Middle? Sid, you have to help us. With what? You didn't take apart another of Mid's contraptions, did you? No. Well, yes. But that's not what we want to talk to you about. It's Miss Middle. She's been acting strange. Very strange. She's barely ever around. When she is, she acts like we aren't even there. Her head's in a crowd. In the clouds. That's what I said. In the clouds. Well, she does have a lot on her mind. When did you last see her? Um, not long ago. Ah, right after she got back from saving you from Stone Ear. Then it's probably just about the Enterprise. It did take quite a battering on the way there and back. You didn't break it, did you, Sid? You really should be more careful around Miss Middedol's inventions. Oh, don't listen to her. Even if you did break the Enterprise, you could put it back together, couldn't you? But who's gonna put Miss Middedol back together? She seems really sad. Why don't I go and see if I can cheer her up? You do that? For us? She's in her dungeon. Don't scare him. It's not a real dungeon. Thanks for the warning. Has Middadol mentioned a new project yet? Not exactly. Mid, if you have a... right here under my arse all along. If this doesn't see it to the skies, nothing will. To the skies? You aren't trying to give the Enterprise wings, are you? What else would I be doing? The children seem to think you're avoiding them. They're worried about you. Is this really so important that you need to shut yourself away from everyone? The Enterprise is already the fastest ship in the realm, and that's with the sea beneath her. But what if she weren't bound to the waves? What if she weren't bound to anything at all? It's not fair, the gods get the skies all to themselves, so... I'm gonna do something about it! The Fallen had their chance, but they relied too much on magic. And see where that got them? But not me. I've discovered how to do it without. Well, almost. First I need to make a prototype. And is that a one-woman job? Are you volunteering? I'll have you know the Enterprise is my baby. But if her godfather's offering to lend a hand... I'd be happy to take it. First, I'll need oil, and not just some old drippings from Miss Molly's spits in the tub and crown. Refined stuff, like they make in Ordil. Then I'll need some bone, or shell. Light, strong, preferably no longer attached to the beast it belongs to. If it's beast bones you're after, I'm sure the curse breakers will know where you might find some. No, they'll know where you might find some. You're the one who offered to help, remember? I should speak with one of the curse breakers before I set off for Old Hill. See if I can't find this bone while I'm there as well. Whatever should I write next? A love story, perhaps? But with a happy ending, of course. <laughs> Has Middadol mentioned a new project yet? Not exactly. She seems preoccupied. I will not let them be forgotten. Sid, may I have a moment? Of course. It is an honor to finally speak with you. My name is Herman. I've been with a... I wish to be deployed to Ash. No. The lands across the Narrow are too dangerous. I will not send good men and women to risk their lives needlessly. Why would you want to go back? I need to retrieve something. Something important. I was raised in an orphan, or rather... I was held captive there. It was not a place of nurture. It existed solely to turn bearer children into... We were tortured until we feared no pain. Tormented 
until our hearts turned to stone and few ever survived long enough to become tools of the last king. I can't imagine. I lost so many. Aye, but they must be remembered. They cannot fade away, faceless and forgotten. The Institute was run with military precision. Every child measured, every name recorded, every death logged with meticulous care. Sid. You are a good friend, Herman. But the fact remains that Ash is simply too dangerous. Sid, please. Even should it cost me my life. Too dangerous for you, Herman. But not for me. I'll go to Bad Back and find the registry. You will? I won't let you risk your life. I don't know how to thank you. You can start by telling me where I'll find this orphanage. Vida Grace. Hidden in a forest. All right. I'll see what I can find there. May the mothers guide you. Do you suppose it's magic keeping the world afloat? What else could it be? Exactly. She seems preoccupied. An empty shelf. 